With me here in the studio is uh, Gonen Ben Itzhak, formerly from Israel's Internal Security uh, Service, Shabak. Thank you very much for uh, coming. Uh, apparently, uh, the IDF thought that uh, uh, the soldiers could rescue living hostages. That did not happen. Uh, I don't know what was the intelligence before uh, the operation. I do think that uh, bringing back live hostages as well as dead hostages is very, very important. It's important for the families. And I think that uh, the fact that uh, IDF is working to bring back the live and the dead is uh, unique to Israel. And uh, it's very important for the families to know that we will do everything to bring back our, our people. Right. Uh, also joining us, Knesset member uh, Shelley Talmeron from the opposition party, Yashatid. Um, let me ask you uh, about the hostages situation in general. We have the families now marching on the Knesset. And you're coming from the Knesset right, right now. Did you see them on the way back? Well, I did see them on the way because I just left as soon as they started uh, to walk to the Knesset. But yes, I know and they're their coming. their message is clear. Uh, free the hostages first, no matter even just plain me saying, no matter what's the cost. What do you what do you say to that? I think the f the first thing that the state of Israel needs to do is to release the hostages. Uh, I don't think there is any price for these 138 people people's lives. We need to bring them back. We I'm so sorry for both families that just received this horrible mess message that their loved ones were killed, were murdered. But you know. Each person there is, is a whole world, and we need to do everything that we can to bring them back. This is a contract between a state and its citizens to protect them and to do anything in their power to bring them back home. So yes, we should bring them back home no matter what the price is. That might mean very tough decisions, like maybe pulling out of Gaza in, a, in some sort of a deal right now. Everybody uh, for everybody, all prisoners for all hostages. This is the kind of thing the families want to see. Well, you know, nobody's jealous of the, uh, the people that have to make the decision. It's truly a very difficult decision to make. But I think that we should first and foremost take care of the hostages, and then we can continue with our uh, military operation. We can uh, defeat Hamas. We can eradicate Hamas. We can hunt, hunt down all the, uh, the top of the Hamas people. But the hostages have no more time. You know, the clock is ticking. We see that every day that goes by, we we have more and more people being killed there. So we need to do everything in our power to bring them back home as soon as possible. Time is running out. There is no Red Cross that's going in there and visiting them, checking their medical situation. Are they receiving uh, medical care? We have wounded people that we know that are wounded there. Uh, I'm not sure if they're eating anything. We've heard the evidence and the testimonies from within Gaza. The situation there is very complicated. We need to bring them home now. It's so, Gonen, can Israel, can the Israeli leadership take decisions like that? We see that uh, it's very hard for them to take the decision. I fully uh, agree uh, to the words and, and what a uh, member of the Knesset said. Uh, uh, we don't have time. I think that even today, when we hear the leaders, I heard uh, the speech of uh, uh, Gallant, and he said our mission is to destroy Hamas and bring back our people. No, the mission is to bring back our people, and then we have all the time in the world uh, to defeat Hamas. We can do it, but first we have the obligation to bring them back, and we don't have Time. We don't have time. Everybody understands it. One of the hostages uh, that uh, their uh, bodies were recovered was alive when she was uh, kidnapped. She was alive uh, for a long time. She was murdered just recently. This is what's uh, happening right now in Gaza. We need to bring them back, and then we can fight Hamas. Right. Uh, member of the Knesset, uh, your party is calling for the resignation and removal of the prime minister uh, immediately. First of all, is this practical? Well, you know, politics is always complicated, and it's not black and white. There is a lot of gray area in between. Um, and I think that we truly want what's the best thing for the state of Israel, and we think we need a new leadership. By the way, we offer to go into the government. You know, we were the first ones to offer to go to a white government, but we see how things are running right now, and we think we can do better than that. But I think the main thing to concentrate right now is winning this war, 
right? Uh, bringing our home, the hostages, first thing. Then eradicating Hamas, doing as much as possible within Gaza. And of course, up north, we shouldn't forget that we have people evacuated from their homes up north. And we, to, we need to have uh, a safe zone in the north of Israel so that people can go back live, to live in their houses. Right now, it's impossible, as we can see. Right. Um, Gonen, you've been famous for uh, being one of the leaders of the protest uh, movement uh, that is now on hold uh, since the war began. When and if you see this coming back? It's a very hard decision. Uh, we feel that we need to go back to the streets. But it's very hard even for us. Uh, during the war, we have our families in Gaza. We have, you know, my nephew is now fighting in Gaza and others. Uh, people are still waiting for the hostage. It's very hard to do it. So all the time, you know, uh, we want to go back. Uh, we feel that we need, uh, we see what Netanyahu is doing, how he is uh, behaving uh, the last uh, two months. Um, but. At this situation, it's really hard to decide when it's the right time to go back. But at uh, a certain point, it will come back. I, I think that naturally it will come, uh, come back, mm -hmm. yes.